another video and if you're new here hi my name is Tamina and I make university lifestyle content so for today I'm going to tell you how I cleared my skin after months and months and months of insane breakouts and yeah how I did that and I'm going to do it according to the university budget of a student because the problem is these days fortunately or unfortunately there's been a revolutionizing skincare routine like the Korean 10 step skincare routine to achieve flawless glass skin the only problem with this and I've been watching so many videos is that you have to buy from 8 to 10 products and each product costs between 900 to 5,000 Kenyan shillings and if you average that it's about 2,450 Kenyan shillings for each product and um, <laughs> must be nice to be rich because um, a typical university student or college student budget is so constrained because we have to think of clothes, we have to think of hair, we have to think of makeup, shoes, concert tickets. So the last thing we want to do is to buy a product for 2450 and then the least we want to do is buy at least 8 of these or 10 of these or have a skincare routine that costs 10,000 because we have to keep buying this product guys and there's no way I'm spending 10,000 for something that I need to replace right now in uni so my skincare routine is pretty affordable i kid you not and i mean yeah you can really keep buying this product monthly or after like three months um i swear it's really affordable so just keep watching to know how i cleared my skin through a very affordable skincare routine so let's just begin i'm sure you're even shocked with my before pictures because i never really showed you guys when my acne was flaring up like that just because i didn't feel too confident but then that around that time is the time i modeled for the nairobian then i realized um it's not that serious tamina okay so i'm just going to tell you how i cleared my acne so let's just begin <music> So the first thing I want to talk about is how I externally cleared my acne because I'm going to separate this video into two and that is how I externally cleared my acne and how I internally cleared it. So the first step is internal. So this includes like diet, my water intake and definitely just what I ate as a whole. Kuma, this actually affects your skin guys. So the first thing that I noticed is that I kept breaking out no matter how many products I didn't use or how many products I cut out of my skin routine. So I actually realized what was really, really, really causing most of my breakouts was dairy products imagine so I actually had to completely cut out dairy from my diet and these days I actually buy almond milk and soya milk actually no soya milk is actually disgusting so you'd much rather buy almond milk and there's the sweetened type and it also comes in flavor so you can get vanilla flavored you can get chocolate flavored whatever you want and you guys it actually tastes like normal milk just a little bit healthier like you can taste the health in the milk <laughs> that's what I would advise and um yeah after I cut out dairy products from my whole diet I there was such a huge change I was actually shocked like the change will make you not want to actually go back to daily products and whenever you think of daily products you just think breakouts and then you'll stay away from it so you don't have to worry and then the second thing I did is increase my water intake I never used to drink a lot of water I would drink like one glass of water in a day and I wouldn't even finish it so I actually had to up my water intake and that meant I would drink like a liter per day or less but it would always be like a liter or yeah that's just basically it and the last thing i would say is fruits i eat a lot of fruits i love fruits so i think that made it easier so if you hate fruits i don't know maybe start with the fruit you like and then continue increasing your fruit intake and then you'll actually like fruits so there are actually some fruits that help with your skin especially the ones that have antioxidants the ones that have zinc and the ones that have vitamin c because vitamin c produces collagen and also we have zinc which fights um bacteria and then reduces your acne because acne is essentially caused by bacteria so you want to actually factor in water fruits and remove dairy from your diet and see how that works like you can remove dairy for like a week and then see if your acne kind of clears up a bit and if it doesn't maybe that's not actually the cause and maybe you actually need to visit a dermatologist for him to tell you what's up <music> section is essentially my favorite section because I have an unhealthy habit of buying a product just because it looks pretty so I can go to the bathroom and just stare at it and just be happy 
which is a problem. So I'm actually going to tell you products that help your skin and not just look pretty because these are the products that helped my skin. I'm just going to tell you what worked for me essentially. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is how my skincare routine is divided into three. That is cleanse, that is toning, and then um, moisturizing. I actually almost forgot. So it's cleanse, tone, moisturize. It's pretty simple. And then during the week, I'll exfoliate either once or twice, and then I'll do like a face mask. So the first thing that I use is a cleanser, and I use Neutrogena. Um, is it Neutrogena or Neutrogena? Conspiracy theory. No, that's not a conspiracy theory. Anyway, Neutrogena um, Spot Proofing Scrub. And it, this is a daily oil-free scrub. And I'm sure you're wondering, how is this a cleanser? But I use this as a cleanser because, first of all, it's very gentle. It's oil-free. And it's a foaming scrub that doesn't really have, like, big microbeads. So it doesn't exfoliate harshly. So when you make it into the foam, it generally just feels like you're using a cleanser. And I can tell you this cleared everything from my black spots to my pimples. It just malizad them it 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 humbled my acne okay it just really did the thing and then for toning i use the matching toner which is the neutrogena um what is it called the neutrogena spot proof toner and this toner is also alcohol free you should definitely get an alcohol free toner because that alcohol will really dry out your skin and then your skin will continue to produce oil which will just equal into more pimples which is not what we want so yeah, I use that toner, and then for moisturizing, I just use shea butter. That's it. That that's shea butter is my holy grail. If you take away my shea butter, like there's a time I lost my shea butter, and I was actually really sad for a week because when my skin just receives shea butter, it glows to the gods. This is the black girl magic secret, guys. Don't sleep on your shea butter. I use the one, just some raw shea butter from like a Ghana or something. And then the other one that I use is like from Nature Organics, which is a page on Instagram. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I really hope I did. I'll just link it down below. But my friend got it for me on my birthday and I love her. Thank you so much. It really, it really helps my skin. And the Nature Organics one has like some um, lemon essence, which also clears your dark marks and spots that are left behind by pimples. So that is really, you know, that's a real key, guys. Now on to exfoliation and face masks. So the first thing about exfoliating is, the first product that I use, rather, is the very controversial St. Ives Apricot Scrub, because these days, you know, there are chemical exfoliators and physical exfoliators. Now, St. Ives is really what we call a physical exfoliator because its microbeads are really large, and people say this tears your skin, but it really doesn't if you use, like, a really soft motion, and if you use it, like, once a week. But to each their own, the other um, scrub that I use that is also a mask and a wash is the Garnier 3-in-1 Charcoal Something. I'll just put the picture here and link it down below so you know which one I'm talking about so this one can essentially really save your coins because it's three products in one a wash a mask and a scrub and I love using it as a mask as well as a scrub so that's the other thing I used to exfoliate and that's another thing I used to mask because it really humbles your acne because I would apply it and by the next day my pimples would be close to gone and applying it the next day would mean that your pimples were actually gone so that one is the one I really love and the other masks that I've recently been trying are the ones from Miniso and I only use these ones to just, to just hydrate my skin because they're very hydrating most of them and I can say it really works and they're really affordable because um, you get three for 319 I'll also put the prices for the other products that I'm mentioning down below because I don't remember them at the top of my head but yeah that's essentially what I use for exfoliation and also for masking also the last thing that I did that really helped clear my skin was taking off my makeup no matter how freaking tired I was from where I was no matter if it was 1 a.m. 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Always take off your makeup. Like, I don't care. There's no excuse because you're sleeping with all that dirt on your face and you're obviously going to wake up with a breakout. Please, sis. Just sis, bro, whoever. If you're watching this, always take off your makeup, guys. Okay? It really helps. So the other thing I do is take off my makeup. So dramatic. I take off my makeup each night and I just use baby wipes and I make sure to use... Baby wipes that are alcohol-free, fragrance-free, and hypoallergenic. Those ones don't irritate my skin whatsoever. So I'm sure even if you have sensitive skin, you can use these. And then I also use some cotton rounds to take off like the mascara that I have. 
or to tone and that really helps because sometimes after you really put on a lot of makeup and then you're taking it off you actually need a toner or you need one of those brushes I personally use one of those spin brushes and I got mine off Instagram from a certain page. I'll just link it down below and I got it for like 999 and it really does the job especially when you've worn like a lot of makeup. You really need to cleanse with that and then go in with a toner and then finally sleep. And yeah, that really helps like remove all the dirt and gunk from your skin from the makeup yeah so that wet wipes and also micellar water i see this really tiny micellar water that garnier sells that's oil infused that really helps to get out your makeup even though it's waterproof especially your mascara so i also use that or if you don't want to buy that you can just use coconut oil or the oil that you use for your hair let's say it's almond oil just put it on the cotton round and then remove your mascara and then it really comes off easily so make sure you remove your makeup i'm sure I've stress this enough make sure you remove your makeup so the last tip is really about minding what goes on your face and this is how again I cleared my skin so this is for example changing your pillowcase every week because a lot of dirt accumulates on it maybe from the oil in your hair if you don't if you forget to wear like a bonnet one day and it goes on your pillow and then the next day you put your face there you're going to have a breakout also that and just putting like your phone on your skin to just sleep on it and I remember there used to be an episode in Zach and Cody where they were explaining that um, a phone has more germs than a toilet bowl guys a toilet bowl so imagine putting a toilet bowl on your face I'm sure you'd scream so just don't do the same maybe you can answer like the phone just like this that's how I do it these days I don't put the, my phone on my cheek I don't want a toilet bowl on my cheek <laughs> so yeah I basically change my pillowcase every week and I don't put my phone on my face Oh, and finally, don't forget to check the expiry date on your product. So, for example, you can buy a product and then you keep using it for like two months and you find out it expired last month and you've just been putting an expired product on your face. So, how you can know this is by checking. A product always has an expiry date and if it doesn't, it has this really round thing with the... Um, the number of months this thing would be viable to use it's most it's on most products but if it's not there then make sure you check the expiry date so let me just show you what I mean so there's usually this like box ish thing this one and it will always tell you how many months you should use a product for so for example this one says 12 months just focus so you should only use this product for 12 months so if you essentially remember when you bought it then you know 12 months and you can approximate and know when you should stop using it so that's all the advice I have I think and that's literally how I cleared my skin so we've basically come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I hope what I use to clear my skin works for you. I'll be praying for your skin, guys. I hope we'll all be glowing. And I hope you guys have an amazing week. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you liked this content. And if you think it will help anyone else, please feel free to share and tell them to check out my channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, bye, T-Fam.